Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're just going to get our feet wet with an advanced feature, Blender Nodes. Now a lot of you have been requesting that I make a uh, in-depth game tutorial and so that's what I'm going to do in the next uh, batch of tutorials. I'm going to make a series of tutorials on making a game in Blender. Now, I've decided that I'm going to let you guys pick the genre of the game, whether it be an FPS or a racing game or whatever. And so, I have a topic on this stick that's in the YouTube video description that you can click on there. And it'll take you to a poll where you can vote on the genre and give some details of things you would like to see uh, in a game tutorial. So, don't forget to vote. It ends in 12 days, I believe, now. Uh, so don't forget to vote so the game doesn't turn about uh, turn out to be about uh, pink ponies instead of some cool FPS or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started on our Blender tutorial today. We have our default cube, keeping that today. So what we're going to go over here is to the bottom left. Uh, we're going to click here and go up to Node Editor and click on that. So we have what looks like our regular grid here, and we're going to go down to near our editing uh, place here and click on Composite Nodes, this little face-looking uh, button. And still nothing happens. Then we're going to go over here t and click to on Use Nodes. And so two nodes uh, will appear. Uh, we're going to drag one over another over more to the center of the screen just for my liking so we see our two nodes here uh, this one here says composite this is COM I'm gonna make it a little larger so you can see it uh, composite this is our kind of final product of uh, the actual uh, node that nodes that we're doing here's our render layer that's uh, the image that we render if we were to hit F12 it would show up here and we can make modifications to uh, that to get our final thing here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit uh, this little picture looking thing here re-render this layer and we can already see that's a bit too big uh, for our purposes here so I'm gonna go over to just the the scene button here and scale the resolution down to about 50 percent of 600 by 800 and so we'll just re-click on that here and you can see our rendered cube so from there we can just close this out and we can look we have our two nodes render layer and composite and you can see this little line kind of just like in our uh, game engine tutorial where we connected uh, the two different boxes together to do things uh, this kind of works the same way uh, we just want to create this uh, image uh, we just want to connect this image dot to this other image dot using this line here uh, if I drag over this uh, it'll appear, a little paintbrush will appear and it'll get rid of the line and so we can just go up to image click on it drag it across and as it'll highlight uh, the image little dot when you're over it and let go and they'll be connected and so we have a render layer and we'll link here and it goes to our final uh, version or composite so from there uh, we're gonna apply some filters to this so we're gonna just drag over this line here and release your mouse and then we get uh, we just get rid of that line so we hit add uh, I just hit space or add uh, we want to add a filter. Uh, we're just gonna play with two filters here. The first filter is gonna be a blur. As you can see, it automatically um, goes from the image to the image dot. If it's not already, you just uh, drag in uh, the little dot over here to the other one, and we have to do it for this one. So just click here, drag across, drop it on that dot. Simple as that. So we have a render layer, our blur, and our composite, all in a row from uh, left to right uh, here. So what we do, we can uh, add a blur, uh, like you could do in Photoshop or any other image editing pro uh, program, but now we can do it in Blender. So the only thing we have to do here is edit these 
uh, there's a ton of different options here but we can just edit the uh, X and Y values to see how much uh, we can blur it. So for example uh, we have our regular sharp looking cube here and uh, by increasing it by just changing these to 10 uh, as as it goes farther and farther up uh, it'll blur more and more so for example um, I don't know about the YouTube compression if you can see this good or not uh, but the cube is really blurred uh, compared to our original image that's nice and sharp and good over here so that's uh, one thing you can do and there's different types of uh, blur filters that you can kind of play with uh, if you want to add a blur to your uh, render uh, you can just play with these different types of uh, blurs to get just the kind of one you want uh, but the default is flat and it seems to work fine so after that uh, we're just gonna experiment with one more filter here get rid of these lines click on uh, the blur so it's selected hit delete add and then we're going to add another filter and directional blur. So we both go ahead and click, uh, excuse me, we connect our image uh, to image again. And then what we want to do, we want to make uh, this increases distance tab here. So you can see it's a little, a little weird. And uh, what we do, we increase the alliterations, which is a little better there. About four is good and click wrap. Uh, so there's not any weird things on the edges here and as you can see it looks like it has a, a kind of a blur like it's moving uh, in one direction uh, but what we want to do uh, if we wanted to make it look like it's falling right now it looks like it's uh, shooting off to the left or right uh, if we want to make it uh, look like it's falling all you have to do is adjust this angle here and I just put it at 90 and you can put it all different directions and it'll look like it's falling from or moving um, from different places uh, so you can see uh, it just kinda looks like it's falling here now so that's the end of this tutorial uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit and just uh, got an introduction to nodes uh, nodes is pretty complex and so it will take a while for you to kinda play around with nodes and get used to it so this is just, again, a simple tutorial, and I hope you just play around with nodes, and it can really help uh, improve your uh, images uh, with compositing uh, with nodes. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new tutorials. So anyways, Super 3Boy out.